We bring this video to your attention about the invasion and concerns about the lionfish. Sometimes beauty can mask danger, as in the case of the exotic lionfish in Bermuda. With their beautiful contrasting patterns of maroon and white, and their long feathery fins that resemble flowing gowns, they appear harmless enough, but they are voracious predators. Recently, there has been an invasion of lionfish in many places, including Bermuda. This is a problem because the lionfish are eating many of the smaller fish, which is causing a lot of other fish to starve. This will cause extinction in many fish species, which will cause the coral reefs to stop growing because certain fish that could possibly become extinct are fish that eat the algae off of the coral. If algae continues to grow on the coral reefs, then the reefs won't grow anymore, causing Bermuda to run aground. Are you thinking of serving lionfish in harbor front to cull their species? Lionfish? Have you ever thought of surveying lionfish in harbor front to like kind of thin out their species in Bermuda? Mm -hmm. Yeah, serving local fish. Yeah. But lionfish, lionfish, fish, yeah. no. lionfish now. Mm -hmm. Have you ever tasted lionfish before? Yeah. Yeah. Did yeah. it taste very good or no? Uh, for me, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> lionfish. Do you think there's um, like a market for lionfish to be on or? That it can get some, it can get some money through it for people buying it or not. Well, here in Bermuda, I don't know because usually the fish that we are serving here is like a wahoo, wahoo, then a rock rockfish, bonito, amberjack, and tuna, lionfish. No. And if you would serve it in here, which I, you're not, what? How would you think you would prepare it? Like how? Would you recommend to go to pan fried or pan fried? Yeah, you can do pan fried. If if we will prefer, if, yeah, uh, we can uh, sell it, but it's not in the market. So pan fried is good for them. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. That's it. Many restaurants and research stations are culling lionfish, which is helping to decrease the population. Research stations such as Bios and the Aquarium are sending divers out to cull these fish for research and to help decrease the population. Restaurants call these fish to serve as a meal, which is known to be quite tasteful. Divers go out to cull the species to keep the population in check. In some areas around the world, they have food fairs where members of the public buy these fish to see how great these fish taste. Lionfish don't only affect Bermuda, but they also affect places like the Bahamas, North Carolina, and Florida. Many believe that the invasion began after a hurricane that released many lionfish from aquariums and boats that were transporting the fish. In 1992, Hurricane Angie smashed an aquarium tank in Florida. About half a dozen spiny, venomous lionfish washed into the Atlantic Ocean, spawning an invasion that could kill off local industry along with the native fish. In the Bahamas, lionfish were first found in the Exumal Islands. They only spotted one and didn't pay much attention to it. In 2007, there was a population explosion, which was the beginning of the lionfish invasion in the Bahamas. Lionfish were first spotted along the coast of North Carolina in August of 2002. By 2004, they had spotted 155 lionfish at 19 different shipwrecks along the East Coast. The world is being invaded by lionfish. Spotted a lionfish? Call 441-293-2727 or 441-297-1880.